Hello everyone in a new video from your channel New Cars Technology, today we are going to talk about the new 2023 Audi Q8 facelift. We all know someone a little cooler, and in the case of the three-row Audi Q7 SUV it's the Q8, the more stylish two-row fraternal twin that shares the same underpinnings. The Q8's proportions are wider, shorter, and lower but the dramatic design sacrifices backseat headroom, passenger capacity, and cargo area to the Q7 as the Q8 is only offered as a five-seater with two rows. Power comes from a turbocharged 335-horsepower V6 engine with an eight-speed automatic and all-wheel drive, the same powertrain as in the Q7's upper trim levels. The 500-horsepower SQ8 and even crazier 591-horsepower RS Q8 are reviewed separately. The joy experienced while driving the Q8 is a benefit of sharing platforms with the Bentley Bentayga and Porsche Cayenne SUVs. The Q8's chassis balance is crisp, reassuring handing with a supple ride. Even if it's not as athletic as other SUV coupes like the BMW X6 or Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe, it's still enjoyable to drive and certainly less strange-looking. It's also a cheaper alternative to the A8 full-size luxury sedan by more than $15,000. The 2023 Audi Q8 receives additional standard equipment such as matrix LED headlights, headlight washers, as well as illumination animation on approach or departure, meaning the exterior lighting elements do a happy dance for you. The Q8 Premium's convenience package now includes adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. The executive package for Q8 Premium Plus adds dual pane glass to help quiet the cabin. New interior packages add leatherette to the dashboard for premium models as well as to the armrests and center console to the premium plus trim. Audi's remote park assist is now standard on prestige models. New colors are replacing last year's palette with Waitomo Blue Metallic taking the place of Galaxy Blue Metallic, Tamarind Brown Metallic bumping Barrel Brown Metallic out, and Satellite Silver Metallic substituting for Florid Silver Metallic. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all that is new and exclusive in the automotive world pricing and which one to buy premium seventy one thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars premium plus seventy seven thousand and ninety five dollars prestige eighty two thousand eight hundred and ninety five dollars we choose the audi q8 premium trim and enhance it with select options its standout standard features already include a fully digital gauge cluster, built-in navigation, leather upholstery, heated front seats, a panoramic sunroof, and a power-operated tailgate. While 21-inch rims are standard, we'd still spec the black optic package for its sportier appearance. We'd also add the convenience package, blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, wireless charging, and more, and the towing package. The latter unlocks the Q8's maximum tow rating of 7,700 pounds. Audi provides every Q8 with a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 that makes 335 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. It pairs with an 8-speed automatic transmission and Quattro all-wheel drive. A 48-volt hybrid assist system aids stop-start operation, which was smooth and quiet during our experience. While the Audi had plenty of passing power on the highway, it felt hesitant around town unless we crushed the gas pedal. The transmission had mostly dutiful reactions, but it and the engine best cooperated in dynamic mode, which provoked snappier responses. We only wish the engine and exhaust made gutsier sounds. While it swiftly changes directions and obediently hustles around corners, it's less engaging than Audi sedans, such as the sleek S7. The Q8 steering has light effort and linear feedback which was relaxing on long trips but boring on switchback roads. Our test vehicle had the optional air suspension and wore 22-inch wheels, 21 inches are standard. These large rollers were mostly quiet even on lumpy surfaces. With adjustable ride height and four-wheel steering, included with the adaptive chassis package, our Q8 was agile in tight spaces and capable of tackling choppy terrain. Its brake pedal was easy to modulate at highway speed but suffered from inconsistent reactions in traffic. Still, it hauled the hefty crossover from 70 mph to zero in a competitive 170 feet during our emergency braking test. The Q8 has mediocre EPA estimates that are lower than other all-wheel drive rivals. The government estimates the Audi gets 18 miles per gallon city and 23 highway, which is identical to the Q7 with the same engine. The Q8 we took on our highway fuel economy route greatly exceeded its EPA highway rating, however. 
It earned 28 miles per gallon over 200 miles, while the last Q7 we tested saw 24 miles per gallon in the same test. A similarly equipped BMW X6 returned 29 miles per gallon. For more information about the Q8's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo In typical fashion, Audi has crafted a sophisticated and sturdy environment inside the Q8. The materials are premium, and the panels are expertly aligned. While the base model misses out on upscale features such as four-zone climate control and a leather dashboard with contrast stitching, it has standard heated front seats and a panoramic sunroof. Only the top-of-the-line model offers massaging front seats, upgraded leather surfaces, and quieter dual-pane glass. Our test vehicle had all that plus a head-up display and customizable ambient interior lighting. Not only is the Q8 visually impressive, it has more than enough passenger space. The driving position remains sporty despite its elevated height, and two adults can leisurely stretch out in the back. Although the two-row Q8 has less cargo volume than the three-row Q7, we managed to squeeze eight carry-on bags behind its back seat. That number increased to 23, two less than in the Q7, with the split-folding rear bench folded nearly flat. Our test vehicle had the optional air suspension, which can lower the rear end to help with lifting luggage in and out. Inside, the Q8 has limited cubby storage. Its shallow center console bin and narrow door pockets left us with few spots to store small items. With a pair of vivid touchscreens integrated into the dashboard and center console, every Q8 boasts a cutting-edge infotainment system. Instead of the intuitive rotary controller found on other Audi models, the displays respond to touch inputs with haptic feedback. We quickly assimilated to its logical menus and large icons, but distractions were unavoidable. Thankfully, receptive voice commands and handy steering wheel controls provide alternate operation. Standard features include a Wi-Fi hotspot and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wireless charging in two different Bang & Olufsen audio systems are optional. We're particularly fond of the standard digital gauge cluster, called Virtual Cockpit, with its configurable settings and superb navigation. While the base model is available with several driver assists, more advanced options such as adaptive cruise control with stop and go technology and night vision with pedestrian detection are reserved for higher trims. Our test vehicle had the optional 360-degree camera system that helped us navigate narrow drive throughs and avoid scratching the massive rims. For more information about the Q8's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Key safety features include Standard forward collision warning and automated emergency braking Standard blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert Available lane departure warning and lane keeping assist Audi provides the same limited and powertrain warranty as BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all that is new and exclusive in the automotive world.